ready when you are. Hi, my name is Matthew Mahalka, and my presentation is on Sir Paul McCartney, aka the Cute Beetle. He got this nickname during the 1960s, whenever he came over from Britain to the United States, and he was considered to be the most attractive of the group. Uh, Paul McCartney was born in Liverpool, England on June 18, 1942. He was born to James and Mary McCartney, and he also had a brother named Michael. James was a cotton exchange worker, and Mary was a maternity nurse. Uh, they were a pretty average working class family. They didn't have too much money, but they also weren't too poor. Uh, uh, in October of 1956, uh, Paul's mother, Mary, had died, and uh, that was a pretty tragic time for him. He had to cope with it, and he learned to play music during that time. He did take music lessons as a kid, but he wasn't, he didn't really fall in love with it until his mother died, and his father encouraged him to do this, and by the age of 16, he was able to play the Spanish guitar, trumpet, and piano, and he learned all of those by ear. And in 1957 is whenever Paul met John Lennon, who would become his future uh, Beatle member as well, and they met at a church festival while John's band at the time, the Quarrymen, were playing and um, they became the songwriters of the group and everything was to be credited to Lennon McCartney after that. Uh, the Beatles started in 1960 and consisted of four members. This is Paul McCartney right there, he's the bass guitar. This is George Harrison, he's lead guitar. John Lennon, he's rhythm guitar and Ringo Starr, who's the drummer. Uh, Beatle Mania started as soon as they came to the United States and it was basically just like the craziness surrounding them and they like people wanted to see them, wanted to be in concert with them want to get autographs and stuff like this. This is a toy doll. This came out in 1964. It's my dad's. He got it whenever he was a kid since he was a big Beatles fan. Back then that was worth a dollar 69 and today, depending on the condition, this one is in pretty good condition. It can be anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars. And for the whole set, like I said, depending on condition, it can be anywhere from four to 600 dollars. Uh, the Beatles are considered to be the best selling group of all time, selling 600 million units worldwide, and that's as, 20, as of 2014. Um, they definitely have sold more by now, but I just couldn't find a newer number. Um, the Beatles had 21 studio albums and have released over 220 songs total, and they've had quite an impact on music. They experimented with many different sounds. They set technology trends during that time. People weren't used to making different sounds like that, and they were like the first to kind of do that. And um, they also inspired many artists back then, such as Nirvana, Beach Boys, and Jimi Hendrix. So after the breakup of the Beatles in 1970, Paul McCartney still wanted to be in a band and make music, so he formed the Wings in 1971. And there was also, that also consisted of four members, Paul, his wife Linda, who they got married in 1969, Danny Sewell and Denny Ling. The group had won two Grammys total and had multiple hit singles. Uh, they lasted until 1981 and broke up but Paul still wanted to make music still, so this is where his solo career came into play. He had 26 studio albums to date and 111 singles, uh, his latest release being in April of 2021, being titled McCartney 3 Imagine. Uh, Paul McCartney also has a pretty big music resume, and uh, he's been inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice now, once as a Beatle and once for his solo career. He has 18 Grammy Awards and 32 number one songs on the Billboard Top 100 and many more accomplishments. Uh, his impact on pop culture, he has changed the music industry in many ways by his, using his different genres and many different styles of music. He's had influence on old and new school artists. An old school artist example would be someone like Bob Dylan and a new school artist would be someone like Lady Gaga. Uh, reckon, he is recognized as one of the most successful songwriters and performers of all time, and this is due to his everlasting impact on the music industry, being a part of the Beatles, the Wings, and his solo career. He's 81 years old today, and uh, he's still making music, still going out, putting on shows for people. Um, he does support the LGBTQ community. He's been seen at many LGBTQ rallies, and he has been seen wearing a gay pride flag before. Um, on a show because in Orlando the night before his show uh, there was a terrorist attack at a gay club and he came out on stage with it on and sent his condolences to those people and uh, said a prayer with them and actually one of the Beatles managers in the 1960s was gay and they were good friends with him and that just wasn't as common back then as it is today gay people were not as widely accepted as they are today and uh, he has raised awareness for animal cruelty many people think he is a vegan but he is not 
but he has not eaten meat since the 1970s, but he does multiple things to raise awareness and point out the negative aspects of that industry. And he does still use some animal products and materials, but he keeps it at a very, very bare minimum. And these are my references.